Hey, what is going on guys? Heat Nandu here and this is the Euphoria. So after the huge success of their debut device, the Eureka, Ute Adventures came up with another device named as Euphoria. Again with the same strategy to compete with the Chinese manufacturers. But leaving all that stuff to the side, here are my initial impressions on the Euphoria. So the only thing which came into my mind when I held the device for the first time was ooh that body. So the materials used in making the device are straight away top notch and shout premium from everywhere. The combination of black and silver is simply phenomenal and the metal chamfered edges kinda look sick. Thanks to the 5 inch display and the compact form factor the device gives a great handheld feeling. So the second thing which came into my consideration was the software. So the Euphoria has CM12 which is based on Lollipop right out of the box. And the fact that it runs Cyanogen mod attracts almost 50% of the consumers, including me. If there is no Cyanogen mod in this device, it is just like any other phone around the price range. So unlike the Eureka, the OS is highly stable and I didn't really find any bugs during my usage. So I downloaded few high end games and well after some time the device started heating up a lot. Specifically on the top left side near the camera as the processor might be situated somewhere around there. And the fact that it has metal which is a good conductor of heat and electricity makes it even more warm. Speaking about the camera, well, I wasn't that much impressed, but it does take great macro shots when there is ample of sunlight. Also, it does give great saturation, the colors seem to be accurate, but all that stuff is restricted while there is sunlight. When you bring the device in the artificial or low light, the images tend to lose focus and the color reproduction is just absurd. And also the rear camera tends to over sharpen the images. But when you start recording the videos, that's when the device shines. It does great 1080p videos, also it does slow-mo videos at 60fps. The colors are accurate, the video doesn't lag anywhere, no frame drops and for the price point, the rear camera is just fine. But the 5 megapixel front facing camera is the bows. The quality at which the photos are shot is just as good as any flagship device. For example, just take a look at this picture. Color reproduction, great. Wire angle lens, great. 5 megapixels, great. Auto exposure, great. So these were my initial impressions on the Euphoria. Do give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Also, I'll be making a bunch of different videos based on Euphoria. So, in case you aren't subscribed yet, do hit that red button down. Anyways, this was Heat Nandu signing off. Have a great day.